This is the story of Annie Ekofo and Belleville Kalikaka Ekofo. Belleville was a student at the University of West London. On the 14th of September 2016, Belleville went to go and stay at his aunt's house, Annie. He went to go and check on his family member, which was Annie's son, his cousin. In October 2015, Obina Ezioki was stabbed multiple times. He had suffered life-threatening injuries and spent six weeks in hospital recovering. After recovering from hospital, he was subsequently arrested and jailed for drug offences. His release from prison April 2016. Upon his release, he had a few to settle. He believed the person who had stabbed him was Bervy's cousin. Obina bought a Vauxhall Mariva using false names. In the early hours of the morning over at Annie's house, her son had already left and Bervy was still staying there. Around 6 o'clock in the morning, CCTV footage captured the black Vauxhall Mariva parking in Elmer's Crescent. Obina gained entry to Annie's home through the front door which was unlocked after waiting for the communal door of the main block to be opened. He stepped into the bedroom where Bervy was sleeping and shot him in the back of the head at point blank range. Annie, awoken by the shot, stepped out of her bedroom on the same floor down the hall and was shot in the chest. Ezekiel then made off. CCTV then captures the Vauxhall Mariva making off. Inquiries had revealed that the vehicle had come from and returned to the Grain Park estate in Collindale. Investigators were able to prove that Abina Ezekiel was at the estate immediately before and after the murder. Forensic examination of the Vauxhall Mariva found high levels of gunshot residue. Gunshot residue particles were also found on a white polo shirt worn by Obina on the morning of the shooting, as well as on other clothing on his head and hair. A search of his property proved crucial, as items including an empty handgun case and parking tickets linking him to the Vauxhall Mariva was recovered. He was charged with double murder. He had a first trial in 2017, which collapsed after the trial judge suffered a bad back midway through. Two more trials in 2018 and 19 also failed as the juries failed to reach their verdicts. The fourth trial was abandoned due to the coronavirus lockdown. On the fifth trial, he was found guilty and was sentenced to 40 years minimum in prison.